Okay, so a lot of you will have seen the announcement today that following an online campaign, the Big Lottery have announced that they are conducting a review into the funding of UK charity Mermaids. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Mermaids are one of the only charities and places of support in the UK for young trans people and their families. And a group of people who claim to be feminists have been running a campaign to have their funding withdrawn. I mean, personally, I just don't get how that even happens. I mean, was it just decided at a meeting one day, someone was like, guys, I've got a brilliant idea for our next feminist campaign. Uh, we're not going to bother with domestic abuse or the gender pay gap or equal parliamentary representation or FGM or period poverty or anything else like that. Uh, there's this charity working with young trans people and everyone they've worked with has said that they're brilliant. They've described their work as life-saving. They're working to internationally recognise best practice. They've won award for their work. I reckon we should campaign to get their funding pulled. Clearly, that is the feminist issue of the moment. I mean, I don't know what these guys are drinking. But seriously, if you could bottle it, like all of our funding problems would be over. And the arguments that they try to use to justify this are quite frankly ridiculous. I mean, they claim that trans people are literally erasing women. Well, hang on a minute. Definitely, I'm still here. As are all of the other women I know. Yeah. You know, they say the same thing about gay people. Yep, last time I checked, still very much gay as well. Yeah, it's there's no rational basis for their arguments. It's just simple, pure hate. When a handful of them tried to storm the London Pride March earlier this year and they were quite rightfully booed, the response was for groups of trans and lesbian people not that those groups are in any way mutually exclusive, to lead Pride marches up and down the country to the cheers of thousands of supporters. I mean, it, it, take two seconds on Twitter and have a scroll down the L with the T hashtag. These people do not speak for women and they don't speak for gay women and they don't speak for the majority of decent, rational respectful loving human beings who don't tolerate hate you know they make ridiculous claims about being silenced in their national articles in the press every day without seeing the slightest bit of irony about that or the trans people are just instantly undergoing all sorts of surgery on a whim completely ignoring the months and years of waiting lists and gatekeeping and processes to go through before you get anywhere near any form of medical treatment, even if that's the route that you want to take. You know, they, they try to wrap this up in, you know, that won't somebody think about the children? Well, somebody is thinking about the children and it's mermaids. And they're not just thinking about them, they're working hard to support them and to keep them safe and well and do vital work. And, you know, don't listen to me, don't listen to other people in the, you know, in the discussion. Listen to the kids that they're working with. They are the best judge of the vital work that they're made to do it. And they all speak so, so positively about them. You know, we've seen this before. You know, the tactics that these people are using are no different to the homophobes of the 80s and 90s when they were whipping up the gay panic. Now we have the trans panic. We've seen it before. We didn't stand for it then and we're not going to stand for it now. No matter how hard they may try, love will always be hate in the end. So my message today to the big lottery 
is you have a choice. You can decide which side of history you want to be on. You can stand with the bullies and the bigots or you can continue to support the incredibly important work that Mermaids does to support trans youth and their families and the wider LGBT community. I stand with Mermaids, as do thousands of other people, and we hope that you do as well. For anyone else who wants to send their messages to the Big Lottery in support of Mermaids and let them know how important the work they do is, I'll pop the details in the comments below. Um, thanks for listening.